Now I got him back up to full health. Now we're running back to make sure we got the codes, right? Yep. Big Billy Jim is dead for yeah. 50 days to find my dad. Or, or meet my dad, I think it was. Yep. We're not quite at the Super Turbo battle yet, but we're getting pretty close. Yep. I'm sure we'll be able to dodge an additional time. Maybe. Uh, at some of the fights, I was able to, like, do, like, a counter attack. I never actually figure out what uh, button mashing that I, act, I did to actually get that to happen. Yep. Yep. Hey, it opened. And the uh the more advanced mad caddies. Congratulations, your zoo bug uh, evolved into a gold bat. Yeah. Yeah. If you stood in the right spot when it evolved, it would have said pink lacerations yeah. and Pokemon yellow. That's just fun. Yeah. I think we're basically at the age where everybody, uh, most of the people making video games are, have to uh, fight the world to put, you know, deliberate congratulation misspellings in their games. Most misspellings are very good point. Yeah. Yeah. At least you can get away with saying that. It's the tip of the hat for the older generation. Yeah, exactly. A lot of internet humor is just. I spelled it wrong, it's funny now. I can have two burgers. Yep. Sorry for making me feel old. And my, another one of my gambles, where I try to see if I can just like seeing how much uh, damage I could take, I could uh, dodge taking. So I had to go the hamburger round stuff. Yeah, I'm pretty good at the the close-up hits, but not the, you know, the wind-ups. Yep. Perfect. Well, 
So you have the edit now? Yeah. Oh, okay. shoot. You better heal up. I don't think I die here. Yeah. I'm gonna try to uh, fight my way out. Or run a nope. No run away from this battle. Get tired of that and just decide to fight my way out. Then me memorizing the tag. Seems like they got a single enemy. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's good because the uh, downed ally got health. Oh, yeah. Got the experience too. Yeah. This is me. That I was just doing the stop start to avoid battle. Like everyone's favorite yokai watch dungeon that no one has ever heard. Yeah. What's dungeon in that? Well. It's the one that no one knew about until just now, because apparently you had to do a very specific thing, uh, and today I learned about it, so... I tried to weigh on the clubber's face so that I could you know, have two people attacking the mama bear at the same time. You understand the action economy really well, which is a good thing. Yeah. Some people tend to be attacked when they play the game. Looks like you got a good meal out of that. Yeah. And then decide to save and get my health back. You know, mm -hmm. just a room away. And then I get into the same fight! They wanted to pay back. Yep. I wasn't recording, but I'm pretty sure I, you know, it's, God damn it! Oh, that's the imprint. That's the imprint on your desk. Yeah. I have a lot of frustrations from these random battles. The good type of frustration I feel. Yeah. Did you just pop yourself by turning tanker? Yes. He's been doing that all along. And then realize you haven't been noticing. She like rubs something on her big butcher knife. Well, it's not really sharpening it. Something, something, something berserker, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. And battle time!
box. And just threw a gun at this. What? No. That's the briefcase. Mm. Checking out the TV for no real reason. Like the room closet ending. Yeah. Just had to check because he felt the need to check. Yeah. That and uh, like a good, uh, uh, you know, fake brand uh, TV. Yeah. My, my favorite brand of TVs, Santa Ponic. Combination of enemies a lot of times. Wailing on this myth that milk in her two kits. Yeah. Basically, yelling, get dead already! Of course, we here. So you got the rocks, you got the suitcase. Yep. Down to the basement, yeah. I guess. Oh, unless I'm just, at this point, riding to have a bet stand a better chance in the fight. Trying to make sure I get the timing down better. One, two. One, two. Nicely done. It seems like you're definitely getting behind it. Yeah. 
decide to use lightning bolt for fun feet. Okay. You know, there's an enemy having a lot of health for the buttons as fast as possible. The slower and less buttons you do, the less damage you'll get. Any uh, fun topics you'd like to talk about? Once the streaming services start trying to buy each other, which one do you think is going to be? Like, uh... Um, I'm going to say either Disney Plus or Netflix. I'm going to say Netflix. Because Disney's going to get bought by porn now by Disney Oh, uh, yeah. Have you seen the way Abigail Disney's go going? Well, I'm pretty sure Disney's just one of those companies that's too big to fail. Unless managed so poorly that there's no air to the Disney thing. I mean, I'm pretty sure the board could just like fire her for that. Very fun. But her but with her name it's easier to keep her on board making decisions instead of just using the money and power for you know who I am. I'm a Disney. Well but or you could just have your C your CEO make a Pointless non decisions and just keep them busy with that. If I thought something like that would work, hmm. I mean, on a larger scale, most you know, people on power just like to hear the sound of their own voice and don't follow up on things if you actually did it. Basically, yeah. Like, you, uh, you ever see how, uh, Mel Brooks handled executives? Yep. I remember that. That was fun. Yeah. Oh! Loading girl dealing two damage now. Yep. Looks like your little beetle candle. Yeah. Well, I... I forget what uh, level I decided I needed to be before I would fight the two guys. Sundrop and moon drop from five nights of Freddy's security breach. Yeah. I mean, they're technically the same robot, but Bruce Wayne has a backup personality in case he needs to be Batman while Bruce Wayne in his house is indisposed. Yeah. Or driven mad by some sort of mental attack. Well, having two would be more handy than one. Uh, 
we have to still need to be these fluffy 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 like sweater or if porcupine I know how to do that or I can show it off by the one thing uh. Sweet, only one ninety nine for the Hitchhiker's like Guide for the Galaxy audiobook. I already have it, but that looks nice. So do I. I think. I'll, I'll check it out later. Mm. Okay. Saw this thing for the biggest uh, Nintendo releases of April. What are we looking at? Um, Nintendo Switch Sports. Yeah. Me Sports Mad is coming back. Kirby and Me Sports Mad. In December, as a long awaited rabbit. Like the Raven Rabbits from the uh, Nintendo Wii. Mario Rats and Rabbit Kingdom. Sparks of Hope. Ah. Rabbit, Rabbit Rosalina. Uh, I think it'd be fun to have the, uh, that, uh, on the rails like on shooter again. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Got all the Lego Star Wars games. This is fun. Yep. I mean, they, they, all the Lego games basically as long as they don't the do the, any of the base on the one. Well, and then that would probably make for great uh, lampooning. Uh, I mean. You say that, but they, you can literally see Ray on the cover. Ray. <laughs> it's the whole Skywalker saga. Yeah. Well, as long as there's a sneaker boss of Jar Jar Jar, I think I'll be cool with it. Mm. And the obligatory sports title. The obligatory sports title! I mean, I'm happy that Japanese baseball is being shown off in America because it'll put the kind of Major League Baseball in shape. But completely in shape. I'm pretty sure that uh, Los Angeles Angels uniform. Those two were Japanese born. So, but Here's, here's, I'll make a deal with you gamer, sports gamers out there. Would you pay $65 for a game that updates for free? Every year, for five years. You can keep your old team, but the stats will change. So you, get new stats for that year. I'm pretty sure the sports gamers have shown that they're willing to pay $60 a year to start from scratch in each game. Because sports! What well, would you rather take? My deal? Or the deal that you're being given right now? Let us know in the comments, because comments is sadly what keeps YouTube videos going. And thank YouTube, young people on YouTube for that. Well, they they got the idea of uh, getting the sports game that plays bad, has less features, but has the faces and sports uh, teams' names. 
so they, I don't think they really care as long as they're playing sports games. But on a brighter note, 13 Sentinels on the Switch. That game's a lot of fun. Let the side-scroll in, right? Yep. I was thinking Pacific Crest for a second there. That would be fun, though. Yeah. Well, the, the fun thing is that it's, uh, split up into story and gameplay. So, one's a, a visual novel, while the other is a turn-based mecha fighter. Sounds wonderful. We'll return to this topic after the battle. Now we pay the boobers with the money. Before they open the suitcase, you stopped to say your plan while they were in the earshot. Yeah. Well, they're bored enough to think of the idea, but not smart enough to run away after they pulled it off. I mean, they're starting their Or at least they're halfway through their journey, because there's probably some sort of tutorial level where they spar with each other so you can understand the you know, control the mechanics, like counter-attacking. Yeah, they'll probably be highlighted at some point. Uh, a gimmick to this fight is that you have to uh, take them out on the same turn because if you don't, you'll, one will just revive the other one. Yep. And it's sort of just me willing one down enough to, uh, you know, both of them so that either Jiro or the other one could yep. uh, take them out. And I didn't have any revival items, so I purposely lost that battle. Yep. 